Hi, video friends. Welcome to the devotions for this Monday. I hope you have a nice weekend and we can look forward to everything that lies in store for us in the week ahead. Well, I want to ask you a question today. What is the most frequently typed word in the English language? Somebody counts all these things. I don't know who he is or she is. Well, believe it or not, this is the word. Okay. Well, I'm sure you were surprised as I was when I found that out. It's the most frequently typed word in the English language. And what does it mean? It means, I agree, or everything's all right. Well done. Everything's good. Now, how do we come to use that um, so-called word? Okay. And the right way to write it is to just put the two letters OK. To say OKAY is not the way to go, because it was traced back way back to 1839 to an old Boston newspaper in, uh, in America. And it was a trendy way of saying all correct, because way back in those days, it was quite a trendy thing to misspell words in, <laughs> in the same way that we do perhaps on cell phones. We even use numbers sometimes, um, and uh, this word all correct, O-L-L-K-O-R-R-E-C-T, became sort of a trendy way of talking about everything's all right. And uh, the first letter O and the second letter was K for the two different words. Well now, that's according to what I read, the origin of the word OK. We do, there were other words that also were used for this. For instance, if they want to say no go, they used to say KG, misspelling no, and then of course go. Or all right, it was AW, A for all, but then they used W for a different kind of right. We use uh, words like ASAP or AWOL or whatever in our language today. So it's part of that trendy stuff. And OK became very popular. Now the question is, are you okay? Are you okay? Because so many problems come in this world when people don't feel okay. They don't feel okay about who they are because they feel as though they're not what they should be or they're not meeting up to expectations um, or they feel they can't do the thing they're supposed to do as nicely as they want to do it or they can't do as much as they want to do or they they're failing at being a parent or failing at being a grandparent, whatever it may be, and just generally failing at being a Christian. And there's a feeling that inside of them they're not okay. And so many hundreds of people walk around with that feeling. We have this feeling or this idea um, about what we should be, and we know that we're not that. We're not what we should be. And so there's a tension that arises. And out of that tension comes an anxiety and from that anxiety comes a downheartedness or a depression. And sometimes just giving up. And sadly, sometimes suicide. So many people take their lives because they feel that they're not okay. They're not what they should be. I want to read to you two verses from Paul's letter to the Philippians, chapter 3, verse 13 and 14. He says, No, dear brothers, I am still not all that I should be. But I keep working towards that day when I will finally be all that Christ saved me for and wants me to be. And so I forget what is behind and I press on toward what lies ahead. Paul saw his life as a journey. He says, I'm still not all that I should be, but I bring all my energies to bear on one thing, forgetting what lies ahead, I look forward to, uh, forgetting what is behind, I look forward to what lies ahead. Because you see, we have a past and we have a future, but we also have a present moment when we haven't reached that final destination. Yes, we've come a long way as we look back in the past, but the future is still an elusive goal. Life will always be like that. Life will always be in the middle between where we have been and where we're heading to. 
and it's to be able to accept that reality. That yes, we've started on the road, but we haven't reached the destination yet. And Jesus walks the road with you to encourage you and to empower you in that relationship that you're struggling with, in that skill that you're trying to master, in that thing that you're trying to learn, that work that you're trying to do, that person that you're trying to become. It will all be okay in the end. And as they say, if it's not okay, it's not the end yet. There's still a way to go. And that's part of what it means to be a human being and to be a follower of Jesus. We have our goal. We have our destination. We've come away along the road. But where we are now is that we haven't reached the final destination yet. May God bless you and help you to be at peace with his love for you and where you are on this journey. Bring it all to him. And so, have a good week. Make progress. Walk the journey. Jesus goes with you. And may God bless you. And may you keep well.